Hello students, my name is Chesi George, your professional accounting teacher. In this video, I'm going to continue with the concepts of transfer pricing. But before we continue, please try to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay? Alright. Now, uh, look at this question. I want you to do me a favor by you pause the video and read through the question. Okay, pause the video and read through the question. So from my own end, I'm going to start with the calculate. Uh, sorry, the requirements. Okay, that's what I always advise students. Start with requirements. So in this video, we are looking at a parts of the question, which says that we should calculate the profit for each division if the external demand per period for the components that are made by X division is 15, 19, and 35, okay? Then, from what you have read, you observe that this information from here, you observe, number one is, who is the selling division? Division X is the selling division. Division Y is the selling division. The information of division X is given here. So we need to calculate the profits generated based on the different level of external demands. Okay, We need to determine the ideal transfer price. We need to consider the capacity of the selling price, uh, sorry, of the selling division. Then you consider the policy. So and their policy, look at, you have been given the policy of the of the company, which is transfer must be at opportunity cost. Then Y must buy the component from X. Y must buy the component from what? From X. Okay? That's the policy. All this needs to be considered. Now, let's get started. Alright? You are going to determine uh, the external demand first. So by writing that is division, right? Division that is selling division X. Write calculation calculation of of profits. Okay, let us look at the level of uh, de uh, external demand first. When the level of external demand is fifteen thousand. When it is 19, look at this three scenario, when it is 35, okay? When it is 15, don't forget, when it is 35, all right? Now, the capacity, now, the ideal price for external selling price, the external selling price, external selling price is given to be 200 from the question, 200 naira. Okay, then the variable costs per component is 105. All right, the variable cost. So, internal selling price is the minimum is 105, which is the variable cost of the selling division. Don't forget, these are the two prices, but this we always go for external. Are you with me? Why this one we also always go for internal? So, for external price now the external demand when it is 15 the selling division will sell for this price because it can be sold externally while the balance out of the 35 capacity the capacity has been given look at the question the capacity is given which is 35,000 components. That is the capacity of the selling division, okay, which is 35. So how many units can go for internal? 20,000 at this price. Students should take note of that. Now, supposing the external division, suppose the external supply, uh, sorry, demand, is 19,000 units, all right? Then that 19,000 units will be quoted at the external selling price, okay? 
at this price why the balance don't forget the capacity is 35 then the balance of 16 will be quoted at this price because there is no external demand for it we only have 19,000 units as external demand then if the external demand is 35 in this case it is the same as the internal supply that is the capacity all right which is 35 and this 35 must be quoted at this price okay so of course that will be zero units there because we can sell all this for there is a demand for it externally all right so that is one now to calculate the profits now to calculate the profits in a question when a question gives you selling price and a question has given you variable costs per unit a good student will subtract these two and these two will give you contribution okay anytime a question gives you selling price per unit variable cost per unit so you just have contribution then minus the total fees cost okay minus the total fees cost then it will give you your profits all right it will give you the profits okay so let us look at the contribution now then when you have selling price per unit variable cost per unit then we now have contribution now from the question the selling price of y division is 200 which is 200 minus the variable cost which is 105 so their contribution is what are you with me 95 naira okay so if that is the case we now come to our calculation here we determine our sales sales contribution are you with me so our contribution here the total contribution contribution okay is look at the contribution here will only be generated on the external demand units on the external demand units on the external demand unit why because the this if this is transferred at this price there will be no contribution variable cost equals to variable cost if it is transferred at 105 it means there is no contribution the contribution but if if 19000 is transferred at 200 there will be contribution on this 19000 so at on this 15000 there will be contribution of 15 multiply okay 15 multiply by 95 and that will give you so bringing our calculator we have 15000 multiply by 95 that's the contribution so that is 1425 that is 1.4 so don't forget 25 okay now we only generate contribution on this are you with me so which is 19000 times 95 which is the contribution and that will give you 1805000 then of course there will be contribution on this 35 which is 35 times sorry that's 35000 times 95 and that is 3 3 two five zero 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 okay that is three million three hundred and twenty five thousand contribution don't forget our contribution here you can say contribution is ninety five are you with me okay when you subtract this 
All right. Now, all you need to do is to bring in the factor in the fixed cost. Okay. You factor in the fixed cost. All right. So let us less our fixed cost. Let us less our fixed cost. Okay. Okay. So we have our fixed cost. All right. So when you have your fixed cost, what's the fixed cost? One million three seven five. So we have one million three seventy five. When the external demand is fifteen, when the external demand is nineteen, our fixed cost remain the same. Our fixed cost remain the same. That's three seven fifty. So we pick up our calculator, then get our profits. Okay. Look, considering the three scenario, so for. For this, we have one four two five zero zero uh, one zero minus the fixed cost one one three seven five zero zero zero, uh, and that will give us fifty thousand. Okay, so this is fifty thousand. So that is the profit when the external demand is 15. So you take your calculator now and subtract these two. Oh yeah. All right. So that is our profit for the X division. Don't forget calculation of profit. Are you with me? So you can replay the video before you move on. Now, how do we calculate for a Y division? So you start. For y division, so you write division. That's division y. Okay. Still, the calculation of profits. Calculation of profits. Okay. So for division y. The selling price, don't forget, you are giving, uh, for division Y, you are giving the selling price, all right? You are giving the selling price, you are giving the variable cost, that is other variable cost, okay? And don't forget that the capacity of the buying division is 10,000 units and their demand is also 10,000 units. That is what they sell outside. That's their own finished product. Don't forget that the selling division will sell intermediate products. All right? And we are told that the two components from X. So let's look at their demand anyway. Let that's this is their demand. All right? Which is under this scenario under 15 so let me still put my 15000 under this scenario under 19 okay and under 35 all right okay then we have their units sold so the unit sold under this is 10000 units under this is 10,000 units. The units sold by the buying division to external customers. Okay? Don't forget. 10,000 units are sold. Then, what is their contribution? Alright? I told you, anytime the question gives you selling price per unit and variable cost per unit. This is other variable cost. Then don't forget, transfer price is also, also, also there. So to do that, let us deal with this first. 800 minus, so we have 800 minus 250, and that will give you 550, okay? All right, that is 550. Now, we now have contribution. 
so we have contribution which is 800 minus uh 250 that's that variable cost and it's going to give us 550 okay so you multiply by 10 so we have 5 1 2 3 4 5 okay and that gives 55 million okay 55 million and 55 million plus hope you understand this that is their income for division y okay then we say less fix cost and what is their fixed cost nine hundred thousand nine hundred thousand nine hundred thousand don't forget so when you less this so pick up your calculator so let us less this we have 460 so this is the profit before transfer price so this is profit before transfer price okay now what is the transfer cost so to the buying division transfer price will be regarded as transfer costs okay now how do we determine this don't forget under the 15th scenario don't forget the uh, component that was bought by the buying division is 20,000 units all right it's 20,000 units don't forget I'll put it here is 20,000 units that was the total components bought okay the total component bought so when under 15 it means that the selling division sold to them for 105 all right for 105 so all you need to do is to multiply 105 by 20 are you with me it means all this will be purchased by the buying division 105 it means then because the capacity of the buying the selling division is 35 it, they're quoted 20,000 units which is the same thing needed by the buying division all right because you have been told that two of the components of x two of the components two will be needed for one unit so if they are producing 10,000 units it means they are buying 20 so automatically they would have taken all these 20 for this price so their transfer cost is 105 so i'm going to use my calculator now to do that that is 105 times 20,000 units and that is 210 so this one is 2 uh 2 million and 100 okay so when you subtract 2 million that is 460 that is the profit 4 million 600 that is the profit before transfer cost minus answer and that is 2 million and 5 okay class all right so this is the profit made by the selling division if the external demand is 15 but if the external demand is 19 okay now don't forget that the component needed by the buying division is 20 okay at this price 105 the x the buying division can only take 16 units out of the 20 for this price all right so the remaining four to make up the 20 they'll pick four here so if they pick four here four thousand units here plus this 20 at this price so this four thousand we go for 200 don't forget so we have four thousand multiply by 200 then the remaining 16 class multiply by their variable cost of the selling division so when you do this what do you have so we have four thousand i'm going to use my calculator to do that so we have four thousand units 
4,000 units multiplied by 200 multiplied by 200 plus 16,000 multiplied by what? 105 and that's giving 248 so I'll come here I'll write my 248 no 2,480,000 2,480,000 so when you subtract 460 4 million 600 4 million 600 4 million 600 minus answer and that gives a profit a final profit of 2 million 1 20 thousand all right okay then lastly when the external demand is 35 take note of that it means then what happened the it is quoted it is quoted at what 200 you understand so and the policy says that y must buy from x so if y must buy from x it means that the 20000 component needed will be bought at this price according to the policy okay so that is 20000 units multiply by 200 and that gives 4 million so if that is the case we have 600,000 okay so when you subtract the transfer cost all right when you subtract the transfer cost this will give you so under the three scenario Okay, under the three scenario, don't forget the question says that we should calculate the profit for each division, and that is what we have just done. So, in the next video, I'm going to look at the B part. All right, so I'm going to look at the B part, which says that we should look at the impact. That one will be done in the next video. Meet me in the next video. Okay, if you love this video, please do share with your friends. Do share. We have been able to calculate for the buying division and for the selling division share with your friends buy